what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Republican John McCain said that he does not want the leader of the Republican Party, the demander and thief, Donald Trump, your president, at his funeral. Man, what an interesting revelation. Just when I had put the nail in the coffin of my uttermost contempt for John McCain, he comes up with something like this and try to win me back over, but it ain't gonna work. His record is too flawed. He's put in too many years rolling back the clock on civil rights. So I ain't going for it. But I have to acknowledge this because nobody likes this guy. Like nobody with just an ounce of decency, integrity, likes this guy, Donald Trump, at all. Now, you know Donald Trump and McCain has a turbulent history dating back really when it really got hot is when Donald Trump said that when he was on the campaign trail and he said that John McCain, he didn't, I mean, he preferred his heroes to not have been captured. You know, John McCain was a war hero. He was a POW. And Trump was like, well, I prefer my heroes to not have been captured by enemies. So John McCain said, man, I don't want you nowhere around me. I'll probably be able to smell your stinky orange breath, even in death. So John McCain is taking the high road and he's doing what other people who are trying to somehow gain some type of shred of dignity, who has had a long history of division and just bad examples and making horrible decisions do. They're trying to get there. They're trying to just make a last ditch effort at least try to save some something just just an ounce of, of dignity. And he's saying, look, man, I may be a horrible person, but nobody is as horrible as Donald Trump. I'd have to agree with that. Uh, considering the magnitude of the power that he has, you know, his stature, you know, I mean, he's in a very, very powerful position. And too much is given, much is required. And this guy just don't deliver. I mean, he, he's just, he's, he's a separatist. At a time when this country needs a unifier more than anything, he further divides people along every type of line you can think of, economically, socially, racially, uh, gender, uh, you know, you name it. The dude is just not a decent human being. So salute to John McCain. I mean, you got to think about it too. Like who out there listening to me right now would want Donald Trump at their funeral? I mean, if he came to mind, man, oh man. You know, it's cool too that John McCain is putting out some orders you know, saying this is what I want. If anybody can have a chance to to lay out their final wishes, I would I would say do so. Cause I got some myself. I told my kids, uh, make sure y'all bring a. You know, don't just have motorcycles at my funeral. Don't just have cops on motorcycles. Make sure y'all have a squad car out there. Because if any of my family members try to show out, show up, show out. I want them to go to jail. Please arrest them. I would have wanted it. You know how when people die and people try to do what's in the best interest, what they think that 
the deceased would have wanted. I would have wanted it. Don't come to my damn funeral trying to show off and try to shit on my legacy. You know, I live my life by a code, a certain code, a certain standard. And I don't want my, my family coming around, even family, uh, friends or so-called friends coming around trying to lie. And we ain't doing the two-minute expressions, none of that. Because people like to lie when you do the two-minute expression. Yeah, you know, I talked to Willie yesterday, right before he died, and he told me, you know, they just be lying. So I, I don't want all of that. So I can definitely respect that. And if, it, it, it's no bigger request than to make sure that Donald Trump does not show up at your funeral, man. John McCain is 81 years old and he has been battling an aggressive form of brain cancer for nearly a year. And he's back home in Arizona after he underwent surgery last month for an intestinal infection. He did say, however, he wants Mike Pence, the vice president, to attend his funeral instead of Donald Trump. You know, you got to be a horrible president for people to prefer the vice president's presence over yours. Trump didn't attend the recent funeral of former first lady Barbara Bush either, you know, he said that, well, at least the White House said on his behalf that the reason he didn't attend was in order to avoid disruptions due to added security and out of respect for the Bush family and friends attending the service. I mean, seriously, what decent person would want Donald Trump to attend their funeral? He's not a good speaker. Every way he goes, there's a dark cloud that accompanies him. I bet you anything that John McCain invited the other presidents probably got Obama doing a poem or delivering a eulogy. <laughs> Does Donald Trump actually attend funerals anyway? I mean, it seems like he would avoid anything that requires him to pretend to show compassion. No more talk. What the haters talking about?